Welcome parents, friends, staff, guests, and special dignitaries to the virtual commencement ceremony for the GDHS class of 2021. My name is Ryan Prasuti, guidance counselor, and with me this evening is Vanessa Hasty, English teacher here at GDHS. Together, we have the pleasure of being your masters of ceremony this evening. Like last year's ceremony, we once again come together this evening under unique circumstances. Class of 2021, in a year where much of the world slowed down momentarily, you pushed yourselves harder. In a year defined by loss, uncertainty, and hardships, you never gave up or threw in the towel. From navigating your entire grade 12 school year with predominantly virtual learning, to finding new ways to connect with teachers and classmates, you were able to overcome this school year with grace, patience, flexibility, and humor. You should be incredibly proud of everything you have accomplished. Before we start this evening, we ask that you rise if you are able for the playing of O Canada, sung by Georgetown District High School's very own Kaya Carter and Olivia Sims. Kaya, Olivia, and also to our music teacher, Mr. Andrew Quinn, for this beautiful rendition and musical accompaniment. As part of the Halton District School Board's commitment to our Indigenous people, and as a gesture of thanks and appreciation for these shared lands, we honour the traditional land and territory that we sit on today. Halton as we know it today is rich in history and modern traditions of many First Nations and the Métis. From the Anishinaabe to the Attawandaran, the Haudenosaunee, and the Métis, these lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped in indigenous history. As we gather today on these treaty lands, we have the responsibility to honor and respect the four directions, land, waters, plants, animals, ancestors that walked before us and all the wonderful elements of creation that exist we would like to acknowledge and thank the mississaugas of the credit first nation for sharing their traditional territory with us today is a very special day that marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of the next it is a time of joy and celebration this ceremony is about celebrating the successes of our students it is our proudest moment as teachers, staff, family and friends to see each one of them recognized for their hard work and dedication. Now this year, 
the class of 2021, has over 350 graduating students, over 250 of whom are on track to be Ontario scholars. We would like to introduce our first two speakers this evening. Ms. Jean Gray, Halton District School Board Trustee for Halton Hills, who is here to bring greetings from the Board of Trustees, followed by Stuart Miller, Director of Education for the Halton District School Board, to offer congratulations from Senior Administration of the HDSB. To the 2021 secondary school graduates, parents, family members, staff, and special viewers, it is my pleasure to bring greetings and congratulations on behalf of the Board of Trustees in the Halton District School Board. To the parents, guardians, and extended family members viewing this celebration, I am sure that you wonder now just where the past four plus years went. Like your son or daughter, you have looked forward to this celebration for 17 or more years. Through these years, you have watched your son or daughter mature into a caring young adult. Your support, encouragement, and nurturing through the highs and lows and many challenges faced has made a world of difference in the lives of your son or daughter. You are to be congratulated for your guidance, patience, and unconditional love in ensuring that your son or daughter successfully completed their secondary school diploma. And now to the graduates, this celebration recognizes your achievements and designation as a secondary school graduate in the province of Ontario. This milestone has been on the minds of everyone who has supported you on this journey. To quote Octavia Spencer, as you move on, keep chasing those moments where you discover something new about your voice. Don't ever let that end. Keep your minds and hearts open to life's endless and unforeseeable possibilities. Again, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we would like to take this opportunity to wish you good health, happiness, and continued success in all of your endeavors. We hope you enjoy all the freedoms that come with the summer months ahead as you look forward to the next leg of your journey as an Ontario Secondary School graduate. May you celebrate your graduation, remembering special memories from your past and exciting new dreams for your future. Good luck and best wishes, everyone. Hello, everyone. Boy, oh boy, you've had a tough end to your high school career, to your school career. I know that you have lost much. You've lost your extracurriculars, your co-curriculars, you've lost the socialization in schools, you've lost your proms, you've lost your commencements. But let's not dwell on those losses because we have a choice to make. And the choice is, do we dwell on our losses or do we look forward to a brighter, better, more hopeful future? I am totally confident that the grade 12 class of this year is well placed and well prepared to take on this world as you go into either post-secondary education or the workforce. I know that it's been challenging, but think about the characteristics that you have had to develop this year and being put to the test on. Resiliency, integrity, strength, courage, commitment to others around you. It is an unprecedented time, but if we look on the positives, we've had an opportunity to develop unprecedented characteristics and skills that will make you the strongest generation going forward. I am so hopeful that we will be, if not out of the pandemic, close to out of the pandemic, and we'll take the lessons learned. But you take the lessons learned individually and collectively to make a big difference in this society so that we're not faced with these situations again. You will make a difference. I have every confidence in it because never has a generation of students been tested like you have in our lifetimes. And you have come through the test with flying colors. So congratulations. I also want to thank you for your efforts during this time. You've done remarkably well. You've looked after each other and looked after yourselves, and nothing is more important than that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all you've done in your school careers. Wherever you go next year, the skies will be blue and the sun will be shining because you are there. Thank you. Our next speaker is here to speak on behalf of the entire staff of Georgetown District High School, Mr. Michael Ant, Principal. 
Good evening, Georgetown families, guests, faculty, and most importantly, our reason for being here, the Georgetown class of 2021. The last year and a half has been tough. When we face difficult days, it's helpful to look to the past for a reminder that we've overcome challenges before and we can do it again. Georgetown is full of historical examples of this, and I'd like to share one with you now. In 1959, the decision was made to tear down the last pieces of the original building that made up Georgetown High School. The district part hadn't been added yet. And it was gonna be replaced with a modern building. For the students of GHS, this was a sad time. Graduating student Carolyn Bean wrote that year, a building is a material thing, which can be readily created or destroyed. Material things change, memories do not. Each group of graduates over the years remembers a different GHS, but their memories of the school as they knew it do not change as the school itself is changing. GHS to them will always be the GHS that they themselves attended. And so the high school we are now attending will become a memory to all of us someday. Your senior years of high school were not supposed to look like this. Clubs and teams, art shows, semi-formals, that was supposed to be the stuff that made up your high school memories. Instead, you had Google Meets, masks, and hand sanitizer. If anything, however, this only increases the magnitude of your accomplishment. Even without the stuff that makes high school more fun, you persevered and accomplished your ultimate goal of commencement. We are proud of your resilience, your strength of character, and most of all, we are proud of you. Now it's your turn to make a memory. For just a few seconds, take a deep breath, look around you, take in the faces of those who have gathered to celebrate this milestone with you. Be present in this moment. Take a mental snapshot, save it forever. This deserves to be a memory, and just as Carolyn Bean advised us, it is important to pay it the proper respect and make it permanent. Class of 2021, I wish you all the best as you move forward to the challenges that await. Grow, learn more, connect more. Find those moments that allow you to be kind and do good things. And as you continue your journey, please remember to pause, take a deep breath, and make a memory. They will become your treasures. It is now time for the recognition and celebration of our grade 12 students. Found in your copy of tonight's program and listed on the screen are certifications that some students have earned, including French Immersion, Core French, Business Education, International Baccalaureate Diplomas and Courses, Specialist High Skills Majors, Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Programs, and Community Pathways Programs. These programs demonstrate the variety of academic programming that Georgetown offers, making us truly a composite school that's reflective of our own community. Also noted in your program and on the screen will be scholarships or awards that students have won. Many of these are application-based, while others were determined by the Commencement Awards Committee. Altogether, there is over $45,000 in awards and scholarships earned by our GDHS graduates. So congratulations to all those recipients. And without further ado, here is the class of 2021. Lucas Allen. Natalie Anderson. Logan Angelotti. Gracie Anthony. Noah Armstrong, Amber Attard, Thea O'Coin, Indu Aujla, Valerie Bobby, Nick Bahan. Addie Baldwin, Zalan Bangash, Cooper Barnes, John Barrett, Jalen Barrows, Lexi Barton. 
Kaylee Basito. Graydon Bateman. Daniel Beaton. Jacob Bedell. Eli Bedard. Cole Beggs. Alessandra Benavides. Sinchen Batia. Haley Burrell. Grace Boxa. Bronson Busco. Olivia Bowen. Brandon Boyd. Benjamin Brandon. Ethan Brandon. Torin Brond. Riley Brewer. Sarah Brown. Theo Brown. Ray Buchanan. Aiden Burgoyne. Blake Butcher. Michael Casey. Paige Callahan. Nikki Calero. Dylan Cameron. Julia Campbell. Jordan Carroll. Ashley Caron. Devin Cartwright. Tyler Castles. Emma Casista. Andrea Chiauca. Daniel Chen. Taronish Chothia. Mitchell Christie. Leah Chubb. Aiden Clare. Gavin Clark. Morgan Clement. Stephen Clutterbuck. Brett Cole. Frankie Collier. Aaron Colthart. Jenna Colwell. Mackenzie Connell. Brennan Cook. Madison Cooper. Max Cords. Tim Corrigan. David Cote. Aliyah Coughlin. Austin Crawford. Dylan Cudmore. Aiden Cole. Sierra Cunningham. Keegan Dura. Madison Davis. Haley Dawkins. Adele DeBoer. 
Sara Della Godino, Richard DeMello, Logan Denning, Emily DeShane, Gobin Desi, Paige Dillon, Gavin Docker, Owen Dolomont, Jason Domingos, Elise Douglas Williams, Blake Dowdle, Tyler Dowdle, Alyssa Dowling, Eric Drew Ioko, Magdalena Dubrovsky, Jonathan Dunslow, Ethan Edwards, Holden Engelby, Gage Everett, Ariana Feltz, Aaron Ferguson, Dulan Fernando, Jeffrey Finley, Rebecca Fitzpatrick, Owen Fleming, Liam Flynn, Madeline Fote, Aiden Ford, Natalie Fournier, Owen Franco, Sarah Frost, Marissa Fuller, Brendan Gardner, Tristan Gauntley, Jacqueline Giles, Ryan Gillies, Sarah Gonzalez, Skylar Gorman, Brendan Gorski, Connor Gray, Joshua Greenfield, Kaylee Greenwood, Sakura Ha, Sarah Hashi, Lindsay Hamilton, Alana Ham, Blake Hanlon, Samantha Harding, Michaela Harlow, Morgan Harris, Ethan Hartman, Emma Hawkins, Jake Heaton, Ashley Hayden, Summer Hollingshead, Ali Holman, Ryan Hopper, Eric Wang, Samuel Hume, Colin Hunter, 
Kira Hines McGuire, Emily Ingold, Diana Ionescu, Iman Islam, Zachary Izid Panahi, Matt Jackson. Emily Jacobs, Cody Jankar, Dua Jat, Nolan Jeffrey, Alexandra Jenkins, Fern Johnson. Joey Johnson, Adam Jones, Mihak Kong, Sahil Kapila, Aman Kaur, Brooke Kelleher. Lyndon Kennedy, Jasmine Kent, Malia Keo, Ahmed Khan, Julian King, Curtis Cloudcount. Nick Clinceris, Emily Clute, Katie Nectel, Ava Knights, Jaden Criticos, Nolan Krug. Ibrahim Kuvawala, Nadia Kuzemzak, Matthew Lacey, Nolan Lake, Jillian Langan, Maya Langan. Connor Lang Greco, Jacob Laslett, Jack Latimer, Emily Laws, Max Lawson, Declan Lee. Shay LeBlond, Aaron Ledyard, Jamie Lynn Leger, Fallon Leger, Emma Leggett, Mark Lemma. Eric Leonard, Alexia Lewis, Frankie Liberatore, Sydney Little, Imani Lindsay, Madison Lindsay. Adrian Lloyd, Mitchell Law, Fraser McFarlane, Shelby McKay, Renee McLaren, Stuart McLeod. 
Cassandra Malaganos, Sarah Mandel, Jordan Marquardt, Jack Matier, Avery Maxson, Shelby Mayberry, Keith McCashew, Emma McCutcheon, Ash McDonald, Jordan McDonald, Lauren McDowell, Ali McKean, Dylan McKill, Amy McLean, Tristan McCleary, Megan McMahon, Agostino McNeil, Jacob McNeil, Samantha McPherson, Gavin McRae, Aiden McVeigh, Grace Mello, Zara Menhir, Luca Michelle, Daryl Miller, Aiden Mills, Rory Mills, Matthew Murawski, Catherine Montgomery, Avery Moorhead, Haley Moore Walsh, Alana Mortimer, Sam Mulholland, Wade Murray, Nadia Nicolau, Darren Norton. Jordan Norton, Kyle O'Brien, Colin O'Hara, Jaden Okabe, Georgia Olson, Eden Onoprienko. Lauren Ottawa, Vinton Overholt, Sarah Pat, Daniel Pala, Nikki Palmer, Nicoletta Papadimitriou. Kushi Patel, Christian Pater, Kayla Patey, Emily Patrickwin, Sydney Patton, Hayden Peckford. Caitlin Grisine, Shyla Pettit, Stephen Petrus, Eric Pollard, Matthew Potra, Jenny Power. 
Alyssa Primdahl. Chloe Ray. Karina Randawa. Evan Reichert. Tyler Reed. Yasmin Resgui. Genevieve Ryder. Cameron Riel. Megan Robertson. Caitlin Robinson. Curtis Rooney. Jordan Russell. Lauren Russell. Abdullah Saeed. Damon Sagotra. Tommy Sampano. Giovanni Santana. Alessandro Santangelo. Alex Santo. Lauren Santori. Kabir Sate. Lucas Schmuck. Pierce Schneider. Bianca Skoropan. Landon C. Eva Serbanu. Samuel Shepard. Abigail Short. Serena Sadu. Robbie Simpson. Milena Smiljanic. Doug Smith. Kristen Smith. Logan Smith. Cass Snow. Reka Samoji. Nick Sprague. Emma Stacy. Catherine Stewart. Zachary Strout. Ethan Stubberfield. Erica Sturgis. Rita Sultan. Nicole Sute. Michael Swearingen. Jaliz Sidney. Emily Tobaccos. Mia Talbot. Reese Taylor. Sebastian Tazier. Alyssa Tegelar. Jesse Telfer. Daniel Tennant. Audrey Thackeray. Emily Tai. Harish Thayalan. Kate Theodore. Gavin Thibault. Trent Thompson. Danica Thompsonwood. 
Dylan Thompson. Alex Tommy. Hannah Tonnet. Josh Totten. Lindsay Turner. Jessica Tilleros. Emma Tyrell. Sydney Urian. Cole Vogan. Rebecca Waterston. Jordan Watkins. Madison Watson. Riley Watson. Jackson Way. Courtney Weatherall. Jamie Webb. Sophie Wenham. Noah Wilkinson. Kate Williams. Lauren Williams. Cameron Wilson. Tyler Wilson. Emma Winters. Madeline Wong. Emily Wood. Jason Woodall. Benjamin Wright. Connor Wright. Ian Wild. Sarah Wild. Kate Zanbergen. Serene Zaglami. Lauren Zaskowski. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the entire class of 2021. Please give them a large round of applause for their hard work and dedication throughout high school. <laughs> The next part of the ceremony is often the highlight for many graduates. It is a time where one of our very own students is awarded the prestigious opportunity to speak on behalf of the entire class. It is a chance for all of us to pause, reflect, and remind ourselves of how far you have all come. And in a school year like no other, how fitting it is to have two of your classmates share some inspiring words with all of us. We would like to introduce your co-valedictorians for the class of 2021, Kabir Sate and Tristan Gothic. Good afternoon. Welcome on our guests, family, friends, staff, and most importantly, the class of 2021. Before we present our remarks today, we would like to thank our administration team for working tirelessly to make our high school experience as enjoyable as it could be. Of course, a huge shout out goes to the teachers of GDHS who remain committed to seeing students fulfill their potential. Tristan and I are extremely honored to be commemorating the accomplishments of our wonderful class today. As Malik Faisal once said, life is full of tears, smiles, and memories. The tears dry, the smiles fade, but the memories, they last forever. I know I don't just speak for myself, when I say that graduation is a time of overwhelming emotions. This year wasn't quite like the rest, and we were tried and tested like never before. However, even in the face of adversity, we persevered and saw it through to the end. I mean, we completed grade 12 through a computer screen. 
That's pretty impressive in my books, especially when every other minute someone forgets to share their screen or Brightspace will be down or someone forgets to unmute their mic. As our time here at GD winds down, it's safe to say that it's been the adventure of a lifetime. I still remember driving up to Georgetown High on orientation day in grade nine, wondering how I was gonna fit in at such a big school. I remember I grew worried that I was gonna lose track of where my classes were and I'd get lost in the halls. But as soon as I stepped foot in that building, I knew that I was becoming a part of something far greater than myself. Steeped in tradition and history, I quickly realized that being a part of the Georgetown community was an honor. It's important to look back on the journey that has brought us all to this one point. It's important to look back on the good times, the school dances, the spirit days, the sports games, the quirky moments in class. The past four years have been filled with countless bonding experiences. During our time here at GDHS, we've grown as a student body, forging lifelong connections along the way. I remember attending the Friday Night's Lights football game as a ninth grader, seeing the stands packed with hundreds of kids I'd never even met before. It's funny how the people I now call my brothers and sisters were once strangers to me. I fondly reminisce on walking to lunch to Osmos in the winter with my friends, braving the cold for some chicken on the rocks. I recall the various pink days we held. The bright sea of pink that flooded the halls and the gymnasium continue to remind me just how much power we hold when we come together as one. As a class, we strive to maintain a strong foundation for a school community that readily supports one another. Whether it was Orange Day, where we stood in solidarity against the injustices towards our indigenous people, or Relay for Life, where we walked in support of those battling cancer. We have never turned our back on those suffering in our community. Take a look at Cat's Crop for a Cure, for example, where students organize a fundraiser for neuroblastoma research in the name of Cat Stewart, one of our very own students. The camaraderie amongst our class is to be applauded. There isn't one thing I'm not going to miss about GDHS. Even the smelly change rooms, the missing ceiling tiles, the lack of air conditioning, and the random holes in the wall. I'm gonna miss it all, because this school and the people inside of it have shaped us all into the young adults we are today. When looking at the class of 2021, it's certain that success lies ahead for us all, because we are the musicians, the chefs, the nurses, the engineers, and the teachers of tomorrow. As we embark on this new and exciting chapter of our lives, it is important that we continue to aim for greatness, even when the going gets rough. It's funny to think that on that one autumn morning in 2017, we would be embarking on the journey of a lifetime. I remember being pulled out of my car on the first day of high school, making that first trip to that first class, getting lost that first time, meeting that first friend and eating that first lunch. And I remember walking out after that final bell rang, thinking about how many more days, just like that one, that would be so great. I never knew what was ahead, none of us knew, but we just took it one day at a time. I never once imagined what graduating would be like, but if I had imagined anything at all, I promise you it would be nothing like this. But to me, that's special, because that's life. Life is hard, it's challenging, it's far from fair. But we've come a long way. Think about all those times over the past four years that you've been challenged. You persevered, and that's special. We're all special. Life may seem a little bit darker now than ever before, but that doesn't mean we stop being who we are or fighting for who we want to be. Because as Amanda Gorman said to the world just months ago, for there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. You see, the light is near, so stay free from fear because we are powerful enough to be it. Our dreams may once have seemed far, deemed impossible, but so is landing on the moon. We must team in trust of each other, in trust of becoming that light in the darkness. Let that spark inside of you become the flames beneath you that pushes you forward, not ones that burn you down. Be the light. Lift your head to the sky. Seek in what you desire. Spread your wings and fly high because this year has been like no other. We've prevailed despite the odds and we've played with the cards we've been dealt. You see, we were once lost in the darkness, but on our way we found, well bound, tightly knit, our eyes sought, our souls tired, yet we tried, well tied close by the memories of a never forgotten past. Let your passion guide you to places no one has been, levels no one has ever seen. We must lean on the shoulders of another instead of letting our heads fall to darkness. Our hands must lay in the grooves of another to hope for the better, yet never turning our backs in the presence of uncertainty. We've stood and fought for the issues we believe in, and we've learned not to settle for what just is, but to stand up for just is. You see, 
we may not all be going down the same path, but in some ways we're about to embark on a similar journey because the world needs us, all of us, because we are the light in the darkness. What we've experienced as a class has been unprecedented and unique, and it may seem like the whole world is against us. But what we often forget is something so simple, yet astronomically special. You are a galaxy, and we are a universe of glistening stars that gives light in times of darkness. We are a universe displaying our true colors for the whole world to see. If you take anything out of this speech, let it be this. A quote from Marianne Williamson, who once said, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. You see, we are all meant to shine, and the world cannot stop us, for the world is ours to take. So let's take it, because we are a universe powerful beyond measure. Be brave. Be bold. Don't be afraid to shine like the stars you were meant to be. Class of 2021. Congratulations. Your future awaits. Thank you, Kabir and Tristan, for speaking on behalf of your fellow classmates this evening. The staff of Georgetown District High School wish you and all your peers our heartfelt congratulations. Well done. It's hard to believe that you have spent these many years together as a group. There are so many positive memories and experiences that we have shared together. In some ways, it feels like just yesterday that you walked through the doors of GDHS and made your way into grade nine orientation. And in other ways, I'm sure like it feels like an eternity ago. Between that day and last week's drive through graduation, there are thousands of memories and experiences to reflect on. Cherish this place and those memories for years to come. Georgetown District is an amazing place, one that we are all proud to call our school. The reputation of this school is built on its rich history, and now you are all a part of that proud history. The class of 2021 is truly reflective of who we are as a community. You have the world ahead of you, so much potential, and we are so proud of you. After what you've enjoyed this year, we know you will get through whatever comes your way. And how do we know this? In the words of Michelle Obama, because guess what? Life threw an awful lot at you, and you didn't blink. To close our ceremony this evening, we welcome Mr. Kevin McConby, Vice Principal, for thank yous and some closing thoughts. In closing the celebration of the class of 2021, it seems relevant to once again speak of the challenges you have faced and the resilience you have shown in making it to today. This celebration marks the culmination of years of work and effort, but is also a testament to your personal strength. We begin by thanking our office staff who have worked tirelessly in helping to put together the many details that have made this a meaningful celebration of your accomplishments. Sincere thanks to Ms. Bruce, Ms. Petty, Ms. Irwin, Ms. Chandler, Ms. Rorig, and Ms. Keeney. Thank you. We also thank all of our GDHS staff for their efforts in helping you navigate yet another challenging year. Their dedication and their commitment to the success of all of our students make Georgetown a place where students have the opportunity to grow as people. Sincere appreciation to Mr. Prezzuti and Ms. Hasty, who once again took on the task of compiling the video and acting as MCs. There is an immense amount of work that goes into planning these events, be they live or virtual, and we thank them for their work. And lastly, thank you to our graduates and families. We truly feel that we have worked together with you in education and personal development, and we are grateful to be part of a supportive and collaborative Georgetown community. Your education here was different than we all expected it to be. I believe that the personal development you have shown in navigating school during a global pandemic has given you a unique and meaningful perspective that you may not otherwise have gained. We wish you nothing but the best as you move on to your next adventure. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. McCombie. Now, before we end this evening, we do want to let you know some essential information about your transcripts, your official diplomas, and grad awards for our award recipients. Due to the ongoing school closure, these official documents will be available for pickup at GDHS the week of July 12th. Please monitor the GDHS website in the coming weeks for details. Final report cards and final marks will be emailed to families in early July.
As our ceremony comes to a close, grade 12s, wherever you are this evening, please stand to recognize your families, staff, and peers who have supported you during your high school years. And now, I have the pleasure of presenting to you the class of 2021. Congratulations, everyone. Our ceremony has drawn to a close. Thank you for your participation this evening. Congratulations to all of our grade 12s. We wish you and your family a wonderful evening. Stay safe and good night. <laughs>